you, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. Today, an MD Minute that's actually quite close to my heart because one of my favourite foods to eat are eggs. And uh, there's really quite a lot of controversy about whether eggs are healthy or not healthy. So the most recent uh, input that we have is a study coming out of Australia called the Diabeg with the EGG at the end. Study was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And what it did was the following. It took 128 diabetics, divided them into two groups. They both were eating 500 calories less than what they required. So they were on a calorically restricted diet. One set, however, were able to eat as many eggs as they like. So they had approximately almost two eggs every single day, 12 eggs per week. The others were given Less, much less than that, they could have one egg or less a week. So we had a high egg diet versus a low egg diet. And they did this for three months. Not surprising when you cut calories, you do actually most of the time get a weight loss. So there was a seven pound weight loss in both the high egg and the low egg group. The interesting part of the study was that they also looked at blood sugars, they looked at cholesterol levels, and they looked at inflammatory markers in the blood vessels. And what they found was that there really wasn't any difference between eating the 12 egg a day, high egg diet versus the low egg diet. Now, there are a couple of issues with this study. The first one is that um, the study was funded by the Australian Egg Manufacturers Association, so it may not be exactly uh, as accurate and generally industry-sponsored studies. One has to question some of the results, but given that aside, the second argument that people had against this was that the um, testing of blood cholesterol, when we test your blood cholesterol, even if you're fasting, really your fasting cholesterol is going to tell you much more about not what you ate last night, but how much cholesterol is made in your body, because most of the cholesterol is actually from your body rather than what you consume. So the argument was that fasting cholesterol wasn't that relevant, and what would have been more relevant would be to have seen the inflammation that you get, the uh, endothelial dysfunction, which is the lining of the blood vessels, after having eaten all those eggs a couple of hours afterward, if they check that, then we'd see whether eating the eggs actually has a untoward bad effect on the lining of the blood vessels and the lining of the blood vessels and their health is incredibly important. My take on this is that this was done in diabetics and so I think that you really, everyone should have some understanding of their risk of heart disease. So they were diabetics, they didn't have heart disease. So you have to look at yourself in a holistic manner. Do you have heart disease? Do you have diabetes? Do you have high blood pressure or an elevated cholesterol or age? How is your diet? How is your physical activity, your stress management? It's all of those pieces together and then you can say, all right, I probably don't have a great risk of heart disease compared to my peers, therefore eggs may be okay for me. And if you are at a massively increased risk, maybe this is not the food for you. In general, plant-based proteins are superior to animal-based proteins. But having said that, eggs are my favorite meal. Thanks so much.